showing you guys how I make salmon salad. Yeah, I love salmon and yeah, I love salad. So why not put the two together, guys? Yes, that's how I came up with this recipe. I love salad a lot and sometimes you want something that is easy. You want something that is tasty and fast to make without wasting time. You know, we know those days when you come up from work and you just want to throw in some things and make a dish. And it's so filling, guys. So good. Believe you me, so good. Yeah, if you are interested in this, please keep watching. And I hope you try this. Give me some feedbacks. Tell me how you, it tasted and tell me if you so yes guys we'll be starting by cutting our tomatoes i like to cut them in halves i'm in this video i'm using the cocktail tomatoes those smaller ones i love them they tasty a little bit sweet so it's gonna blend so well with the other vegetables in our salad so yes cut them in halves and put them by the side then continue with our paprika I love the yellow paprika. That's my favorite. I don't know about you, but I love the taste of it. It's sweeter than the green paprika. The red too is good, but I just wanted the yellow today. Maybe that's what I had at home. I don't know. But I do sometimes use the red, but today for this video, we're using the ye yellow paprika. I just like to, to, you know, to chop it the way I'm doing right now, to cut it. The, that way it looks really beautiful when it falls with all that colors yeah keep watching it's beautiful it's coming together yes and i also wanted the cucumber you know uh i just want i think i didn't want the full cucumber because i'm making salad for one myself yes so half cucumber was what i used for this video and i'm cutting it as well so just watch me cut it mm -hmm coming together i love the colors like i say i love food i know food has to be appealing to the eyes before you know going into the stomach i don't know about you but look at that green red yellow that's the flag of cameroon even though i didn't arrange it the way i should have but cameroon's flag is green red yellow you guys can look it up if you're interested in that but i just love color so there you go yep there you have the salad in this video i'm using roman salad uh, you can use whatever salad you want for this recipe but i i love roman salad and that's what i had at home you know now it's summer in sweden so it's we have roman salad everywhere you have it all the year round but i just had this at home so yes i chopped a little bit of it just a handful of it not too much since we're making salad for one and there you have your red onion i love red onion red onion first the color then the flavor and the taste oh my god i wanted just a quarter of that small red onion i didn't want too much onion some some people like a lot onion but i like it just you know you just want to have that flavor not too much of it all to overshadow the the other uh, vegetables so i just had a quarter of the onion so yes i'm chopping that as well just slice it put it by the side as well while you continue with the other vegetables hmm just look at that now we have the green the red the yellow and the you know the purple you guys it's so beautiful there you have the star not really the star but you know almost the star of the dish because i love avocado and this avocado was so lovely sometimes you, you buy some and it's bad but this one was so beautiful you open it you see how good it is and uh, i'll show you an easy style to just peel it off you cut it in half you remove take off the seed like so mm -hmm. okay yes just like that and you cut it in quarters then you just peel off the back very easy to to peel a ripe avocado guys very easy yeah then i just peel it peel it like a banana <laughs> yes you peel it guys and then you chop it chop it chop it mm -hmm. yep peel it peel it yes i'm peeling it yeah i don't know this is satisfying for me i don't know about you uh, maybe it's because i love food a lot <laughs> yes very satisfying yeah i peel everything because i wanted one avocado for this uh, dish mm -hmm. you can have more if you want but i think one is enough one is enough because we still have other uh, uh, protein to put in the dish so just chop the avocado as well 
and put it by the side i like to put everything together so i can admire the colors you guys yeah it's a salad why not be creative i love it so yeah keep watching mm, look at that just look at that mm. so now move over with the lemon i like to roll it on the board like that so it's easy to juice it out because you know i didn't have the lemon uh, juicer so it's the traditional way of doing it you roll it down so it brings out more water when you're trying to juice out the lemon so just squeeze it in just squeeze out the, the juice like so Take out the seeds as well. We, nobody wants the seed in your salad. When you're chewing, you want that crunchy taste. You don't want any seed because that seed it tastes awful, guys. So make sure you take out the seeds. And I'm using olive oil. I like the mild olive oil. You know, some people like the virgin, extra virgin olive oil. I like the mild taste. For this recipe, I'm using the mild taste. If you like extra virgin, if extra virgin it's your your you have at the home, is what you like. Of course you use it the himalayan salt i like that as well uh, some people say it's healthy i think it is too because when you, if you're trying to lose weight it helps you to you know take out the, wa the, the water from your body i think i don't i'm not so sure right now but yes i use the himalayan so you can use the normal salt so this one is the black pepper black pepper you know it's, it's written there in swedish but it's black pepper and i like the one that is crushed i don't like the one that is ground to the powder form this one is crushed it's very good for the salad because when you're eating your salad you want to have that feed it's a little bit spicy and so good this one it's um we call it the italian italian uh, spices it just mix herbs you have like rosemary basilica a, a little bit of cayenne pepper it's a blend of herbs that is so good in the salad um sometimes i'll make another video to show you guys uh, how to make it at home if you can buy it uh, but yeah i just bought it from the shop guys this one is easy to buy from the shop but you can always make yours at home if you want to mm -hmm. you blend everything in i have this i have a little bit of salt in there a little bit of lemon that's like two uh, tablespoons two tablespoons of the oil i just blend everything together and that's our vinaigrette guys so with this vegetable i want to I like to put a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper too there a little bit not too much because remember we have salt and pepper in our vinaigrette so you don't want too much but i just like this extra step try it guys you see the difference because you want your vegetables to have some taste to it that's why i do that i mix them up mix everything up yes mix everything up just look at those lovely blend of colors guys it's so colorful i love green yes now we are trying to fix the salmon there you have the salmon uh, try to put a little bit of seasoning to it yeah just small not too much you want your fish to taste like fish you don't want too much seasoning so i just put a little bit of seasoning and i try to rub it in guys then put a little bit of uh, the black pepper as well the crushed black pepper yes you want that in there not too much as well just a little bit then you don't be scared to massage it in massage it in yes guys and wash your hands after i did wash my hands before continuing you know it's very important to wash your hands you don't want any bacteria growing in your kitchen that's a no no so we have to wash our hands yes and the pan is heating i think it's ready now so yeah on the heat there i don't think it didn't show in the video but the pan i checked that it was hot when you see me putting my hands there then you know that i was checking for the heat if it's ready yes look at that and this salmon i just had a piece of salmon it's frozen salmon in case someone is wondering i think it, it wasn't fresh it's frozen I had it in the freezer so i just take it out you don't need to wash it nothing it's already washed just have it in the pan you season it you season you your season of choice i just like the the normal seasoning with a little bit of black pepper that's all i put on my salmon and then i put it in the pan to seal it up you want it crispy on the outside and soft in the inside you know if i should ask i did ask my husband he's a chef and i was like 
how do you how, how can i explain this it's like just tell them 90 10 that the bath should be like 90 percent cooked and uh, did you say so no i'm making a mistake now i'm sorry guys let's scrap that let's forget about it let's forget i said that but then you just want it golden i like it when it's crispy at the house on the outside and you know still soft pink in the inside then you know that your salmon is well cooked i'm not a professional i just love cooking and that's how i experiment in my kitchen and it is so good and you still have those juice in there you don't want it dry guys you want the outside to be crispy golden brown like it's looking right there and the inside of it you want it to be a little bit you know still soft still has you see has the the juice of the fish so when you eat it it comes together guys the crispy and the softness in the middle oh just look at that see how golden it is guys that's how you want your salmon to look like try this and let me know how it came out it's so beautiful so beautiful i just love the color see how golden tasty very tasty now is the time to do the dressing guys like plating i call it plating you know to serve it you want it to look appealing to the eyes before you, you even eat it for me if i see food i want it to first call me <laughs> when i say call me i mean i want the food to talk to me like talking to me means it has to look good it has to be appealing to the eyes yes that's how i like food you know now we're plating the salad i just put it on the plate that i'm serving it on i fix everything yes like so then I just put some, you know, extra colors on top of it to make it look good. You know, you want you want some things to show, like the tomatoes. You want it the spotty red. Then the, you know, I'll put in some pear so it shows. Oh, sorry, not pear. Avocado. We put in some avocado so we have it shows that we have some avocado in there. Yes, that's how we plate it, guys. That's how the magic is being done. <laughs> I love food. I love food, and I hope you do too. Yes, and when that's done, we have the the star of the dish. That's the salmon. Mm -hmm. The star of the dish. Then you put your salmon on top of it, and there by the side you have the vinaigrette that is mixed. Remember, the lemon, the, the olive oil, and a little bit of salt and uh, the black pepper. Yes, that's all you need plus your italian spices or italian seasoning i call it now just drizzle it on top of it guys drizzle that in just oh my god just look at that oh that's what i'm talking about look how beautiful it looks how well put together it looks i think you can go to a restaurant and order this you'll be happy right <laughs> i know i will <laughs> Yeah, that looks so 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 delicious guys oh my goodness oh my goodness mm, just look at that now I'm gonna show you guys how I dig into that just look at that look at that guys mm, just look at that so uh, beautiful guys if you enjoyed this video please like please subscribe please share to your friends we need to build this community guys so please share my videos and keep coming back because we'll be bringing you some juicy videos thank you bye